Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showing the brand new updated Polly Pockets that were just released in 2020. I have the Corgi Butt, the Piggy, the Hedgehog, and the Pony. These have been circulating the internet for a while now. I actually got a handful of messages from people on Instagram who messaged me about these and of course I had to have them. The problem was they weren't available in the US yet, but they are now on Amazon and Walmart. So if you want these, grab them quick because I don't know when they'll be out of stock. The best part of these is the hinge is back. Is it true? Did Mattel really do it? Did they actually listen to a bunch of 30 year olds who are complaining that they want their vintage toy back? I'm really excited to look through these and see what has improved. So let's get started. We are gonna start with this one because she's pink and very cute. This is called On The Farm Piggy Compact. The graphic here is so cute. It looks like it's much improved from their older packaging. You'll also notice that there is no longer a poly stick. That's right, the characters have hinges, but how are they gonna stand exactly? We're about to find out. This is the back of the box and these are all of the interactive elements. There's also a call out to the other three that are part of the set, which we are gonna unbox in this video. I am so excited to finally be able to hold this in my hand when I first saw this online, I couldn't wait to have it. The design on the front is incredibly cute. I love her expression. I love the closed eyes with the long eyelashes and rosy cheeks. She kind of looks like she has cleavage though. Now I can't unsee it. On the back, we see the Polly Pocket logo. She also has a cute little curly tail. The year on the back is 2020 and I absolutely love seeing that because it's brand new, it just came out, and there is this strap because it's meant to go on your wrist, but I'm personally not a fan of this, so I just like to cut these off. Just like the other big pocket worlds, these stand up on their own. I love this whole farm theme. I think it's very cute, very happy. Over here, we see cute piggies that are playing in the mud. They're extra cute because they have mud on their butts. That's so adorable. They just go round and round and round. This comb here also comes out. This reminds me of the Pony Parade set that I showcased a while back. There's a comb that also acts as a fence when you attach it to the compact. Over here, we just have what looks to be some food. There's flowers on the ground, nice grassy texture. There's some corn and wheat on the stairs and some hay over here, which also looks like stairs. There's a farmer's market here. In terms of the printing quality, I don't think they improved it all that much. You can still see a lot of fuzziness, a lot of chipped areas. I think the thing that's been throwing me off is the fact that the fruits are intended to look a little bit more realistic, but the rest of the compact is very cartoonish. Up here, we see a barn, a windmill, and a chicken coop. In the chicken coop, you can turn this to reveal all the chicken. There's a mommy and her babies. This one is hilarious because it looks like the baby is just stomping on the mom and she's so over it, she's so tired. Then there's this purple barn here, which looks so beautiful. I love the pastel colors, matches my nails. And inside we see a cow. There's also a piggy back there just running around and a chicken right on top. This cow is so cute. She's got her eyes closed. She's just meditating. There's a milking station. So we're supposed to milk the cow over here. I really like the graphic inside because it gives the illusion that there's depth and that you can actually walk inside the barn. There's also this ladder, which is a really nice touch. And up here we have the windmill. This rotates to change the sky. So here we have a beautiful rainbow day and a starry nighttime. The clouds here look so happy and peaceful. I love it. This is the brand new updated Polly. No more silicone. She is made of full on plastic. And yes, she has the hinge back. Let's test it out and see how it works. I'm gonna bend her this way. That's actually pretty tight, so that's good. Each individual leg can also move like so. She's doing the splits. 
that looks really uncomfortable. And her torso rotates, and her arms also rotate. Let's put these up. She's got a lot of mobility. Everything is moving just fine. Nothing was too tight or too loose, and I really love how she feels. Now let's talk about the print quality on her shirt. The print quality on her shirt is very much improved. One of the things I didn't like about the old Polly dolls were their shirts had graphics, but they were very grainy, blurry. This one, you can see that it's a lot sharper. You can make out that cute little cow for sure, and she's wearing overalls. That is very clear with this brand new crisp graphic. Of course, it's not perfect. Anything that's printed, I can tell you from a graphic design point of view, will always have imperfections. That's just the nature of having anything printed, but it is much improved from the older version. This is her friend. I'm not sure what her name is. I looked online and she doesn't seem to match anything that I found. And again, I don't watch the show, I haven't seen it yet, so if she is on the show, let me know what her name is. She's got brown hair with pigtails, and her pigtails are so adorable. Same hinge, so we can assume that she moves the same way Polly does. And the graphic on her shirt is a piggy. Very cute. She's also got a flower crown on her head right there. So she's got kind of a hippie vibe. Then we have a little goat friend who is so freaking adorable. That face is so cute and the entire thing feels really nice. It's a nice little figurine. It's made of plastic like the dolls, but I just really like the form of this animal. I like the shape. I just like everything about it. One thing that I can say about these new Polly Pockets is they do animals really, really well. And we have this llama. She is just the cutest, sassiest thing. Her hair, that little pompadour, I can't get over it. It looks like cotton candy, it's so cute. I love that they're adding hair to the animals too because it reminds me of the pony parades. Look at it, yoink. We can also use the comb to brush her hair. And lastly, the dolls come with this little skirt. I'm not sure why, why just one? And why a skirt? Because we are on a farm. I'm going to attempt to put it on. I don't even know how it's gonna fit. I guess I can stretch it. It's pretty stretchy, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. So that actually fit really, really well. It looks amazing, very seamless. I'm happy with this. I'm excited to see where they're gonna go with the additional clothing pieces. In terms of how they stand, they just kind of stand. She's still a little unstable just because there's textures on the ground. On flat surfaces like this, she does stand, but then you put her on something like this and she falls over. On the stairs too, she would not be able to stand. So I guess my feedback would be add some spots for her to stand, just like the vintage Polly Pockets. That way there's a displayability factor to it if we wanted to put her here or have her stand in the middle. Next, we are gonna do Jumpin' Style Pony, which is a horse compact. This is definitely a throwback to the pony parade that I showcased. The Vintage Polly Pocket line had several pony-themed compacts that were very, very popular. And at some point in our lives, maybe our childhood, maybe now, we were obsessed with horses. Look at those little horsies. They already look so cute. This is the back. Again, lots of interactive elements. So let's open this up. such a cute horse. I love how she's very simple. I love how consistent they are with the kawaii look. So she has her eyes closed with the long eyelashes and rosy cheeks. She has a beautiful purple mane. On the back her face is repeated and the logo is right down here. This one is actually pretty packed with details, especially the second level here. There is a lot more detail here than what we normally see with the Big Pocket World Polly Pockets. Down here, we have an obstacle course where the horses can train and jump. This is definitely very reminiscent of the Pony Parade set, especially this comb right here, which we can take out. 
We can also raise this fence if we want it to be a little more challenging. It doesn't really go up and down that much, just ever so slightly. There's a platform here and we can assume that the horse can stand on this area. And when you turn the trophy, the platform turns. And this little area also goes up and down. There's a ramp up here with horseshoe designs, a cute little bench, and here are the awards for first, second, and third place. On the second level is where the horses get groomed. Here we see a shower and you can move this around and you can put it back right on that little latch. There we go. In the background, we can also see a nice graphic of a bunch of cleaning supplies. Here we see a pink and purple stable. Pink and purple are my favorite colors, so I really love how this looks. I especially love the pink and white. It looks very cottagey. This slides open so we can put the horses inside. We also see another horse in there just chilling, eating a bunch of hay. And here is the judges table. We can see here that they have scored our horses. 10, 10, and 10 because they're perfect. There's a bunch of ribbons here, and this is the grand prize. This trophy rotates just for fun, no other reason. We can also see the crowd back there, the crowd of very rich individuals who love to watch horses compete. And through this beautiful lavender door is the jockey changing station. Here is Polly with her riding outfit. Her hair is nice and flowy. This time her legs move to the side so she can sit on the horse. This is definitely very reminiscent of the pony parade because Polly can also move her legs to the side so she can ride the horses. Here is our second character and again I don't know her name. I've never seen her before. I don't know if she's part of the show, but she's very cute and she actually looks a little bit Asian, so we might have our first Asian character here. I also love her hairstyle. This is a hairstyle that I used to do in high school and it's just so cute. Her legs do not move to the side. She has the simple back and forth hinge that we saw earlier. We get this tiny little pony. She looks like a baby. Just like the goat from the pig compact, she is all one color. I wonder why sometimes they add extra paint to the animals and sometimes they just leave them one color like this. It doesn't matter to me really because she is super cute and I just really love the molding on all of these animals. And of course we have Miss Horse Queen right here. She is so gorgeous. I love the purple hair. Although I wish her mane up here was also made of hair, but it looks like it's just her tail. It also looks like you can remove the harness. There's a latch right here, but I'm not gonna remove it because I like how it looks on her. I also like the little pattern here. It reminds me of My Little Pony. Now we are gonna brush her tail. Again, it would have been cool if her mane was also made of real hair, just like the Pony Parade sets but this is cute. And here is another silicone skirt that we get. Here is the skirt on this character, and just like the other one, it's very seamless, it fits perfectly, and I like it. Up next, we have Hedgehog Cafe which is one of my favorites. I mentioned this in the Q&A video that I just did. She is incredibly cute and I already love the pet and animal theme inside. Here is the back. These are all the interactive elements. So let's open this up. So far, this is definitely the cutest. From a tactile standpoint, I love how this feels. I love the textures. Look at the back. This is awesome. Again with a kawaii expression with her eyes, lashes, and rosy cheeks, and that little heart nose. I am in love with a flower in her hair. I've never thought about putting a flower on a hedgehog as an aesthetic, but this works. And her little feet, her paws, I'm just so in love with this. I especially love how it has a distinct shape. It has kind of a droplet shape to it, and the colors go so well together. We have a mint color here, a very light sunshine yellow here, and of course pink and purple which always go good together. This is just so great. I love this compact so much. I would put this up there in my top 10 favorite compacts. And the inside is even better. I thought this was gonna be my favorite and I was right. I absolutely love this. I love all the details. I love the colors. And most of all, I love how it's pet themed. I can see cats, rodents, dogs, birds. I would live here. I would shrink myself down 
and live in this compact. First, we see these cute little hedgehogs. They are so adorable. I love the texture on these. It feels and looks great. This turns round and round to make it look like they're scurrying. I also love the whole look of this enclosure. It looks very realistic something that you would definitely keep some rodents in. But it looks like they've got lots of space to run around. There's grass, plants, plenty of food. They just look so happy and cute in there. Over here, we have more animal friends. We have this cute white cat just chilling up here. There's a cozy pillow. There's paw prints on the floor, which I love. Here is a dog just hanging out on the couch. I love how it's a sectional couch. And there's heart pillows. And here is our comb. Because this is an animal cafe, here is the cafe portion. We have these paw print chairs that rotate. There's also food on this side. And when you turn this, there is tea on the other side. Up here, we see a huge cat jungle gym. Here is a kitty already playing, having a good time. I love the look of this cat. She is so cute. I love that she's purple. She moves up and down to make it look like she's pouncing. There is a branch right here that rotates. This is the branch that the cat is trying to catch. There's this tall, lovely heart tree. And inside, we see a mommy bird with her babies. There's also a bird chilling right here on the tree. It looks like you can unhook this too, if you ever want to do that. And we have a dog graphic right there. And when you angle it just right, it looks like he's sitting on that dog bed. There's another kitty up there. Beautiful graphics to make it look like a cafe. We also have a chalkboard. And this is the cash register where you can buy pet treats, cakes. You can also rotate the register, although I'm not sure why. I think it should always face the shoppy. And there's this cute door with a paw print on it and a little dog door too. Right through this door, we see a husky. And there's a donut shop across the street. A competitor? How dare you? Here is Polly. She has a wink in her expression. She has a cup of coffee or tea on her shirt. And this is our second character. Again, I don't know these names. I've never seen her before, but I am in love with her. This hair is everything. The pink hair with the two buns, that's something that I would totally do. It also reminds me of Shopkins with the crazy hair color, and they might be a little bit inspired by Shopkins. She's got a hedgehog on her t-shirt, and she looks like she has a nose and whiskers face paint on so that she can look like a cat. One of our animal friends is this adorable tiny rabbit. She is so tiny, I am so in love. I love how one ear is down and one is up. Look at that fluffy tail. And we have this gorgeous fancy orange cat with real hair. Let's talk about that expression for a second because she looks like she's seen some things. Let's brush your tail. And our extra outfit is now a tank top. I'm excited to see how the tank top would fit, so I'm gonna put it on this new character. I don't know if I wanna put it over her head or start from the bottom. I'm just gonna start from the bottom. This is actually pretty great. The proportions are a little bit weird. I'm not sure if this is a dress or if it's supposed to be an apron, but it fits really nicely. I think I actually put it on backwards now that I think about it, so go me. I'm gonna leave it like this because I don't wanna remove it and I actually like how the bow is on the front. Lastly, we have Corgi Cuddles, which is a Corgi butt. This looks so silly. This is one of the compacts that caught my eye when I first saw this online. Look at the Corgi in the graphic. He looks just like my gadget. And on the back, we see all the interactive elements and characters. This is so unique and hilarious. I love how they're playing off of the trend that is the Corgi butt. I also love the perspective of making it look like the butt is right in your face. And those little toe beans. The back is another corgi butt, which anatomically doesn't really work, but I guess they had to do something with the back. It's also kind of weird how this is hollow. It's freaking me out a little bit. Overall, this is really cute. I love the color orange. It just makes me laugh. A corgi butt, who would have thought? I was torn between the hedgehog and this one because I love pet themed compacts. The hedgehog is still my favorite, but this is definitely second place just because there's lots of dogs and I love dogs. Down here we see another corgi and a wiener dog. And when you turn this fire hydrant, the platform rotates. 
and the dogs look like they're running around. There's also very thick glue underneath because they are just glued to the compact. That looks kind of unprofessional and it looks like they went a little bit overboard with the glue. It kind of ruins them a little bit, but they're still cute. And here is our comb. I love how the comb is also a gate. This enclosure just looks really cute. I love white picket fences. Down here we have a seesaw. We also have some toys and entertainment for the dogs. There's some cones here so they can run around kind of like an obstacle course. There's a doggy pool in the shape of a dog bone. It also looks like we can fill this up with water. And here we have some dog bowls with food and water. There's also a slide that goes right into the pool. It just looks like a nice, fun, enriching area for your dogs to play. Up here is where the dogs can get groomed and get some sleep. There's a little tiny house in there. It looks very cozy. I love the paw prints all around. Here's an elevator that goes up and down. There's a nice lounge area over here. There's a leash here so we can secure the dogs while they get a bath. And this is the shower where the water or bubbles can lift up and we can put the dogs right in there. There's a pink doghouse over here. I love the texture so much, and I love the little embellishments. And when we open it, we see a place for the dogs to rest. They can even watch TV. They're watching the Polly Pocket Show, which I also need to watch. Here we just see a big bed with lots of chew toys because dogs love to chew on things. Here is Polly. She looks super cute. She's got a paw print t-shirt. She's also got a little heart on her cheek. And here's a familiar face. We see Shawnee. She has a corgi butt on her shirt, which is so cute. She's wearing sunglasses because she is way too cool. And here is our husky dog. I just love him. I love huskies and I wish I had one, but they're way too big. I also love his color, how he's mostly black, but he's got a white face and white ears. And here is our fancy poodle. She's fluffy all around and She's got real hair on top of her head. Let's brush your hair, Miss Poodle. I feel like I'm messing up the curls. And we get this little frilly skirt that we can attach to the characters. I am really loving the additional clothing. I think they fit very, very well. This frilly skirt looks super pretty and it's a great addition to her outfit. They did a really good job of that and I hope they add more of that. They all are. It's hard to fit them on my screen, but my final verdict is yes, yes, a thousand times yes. I love these new Polly Pockets. I especially love this hedgehog. They're definitely moving in the right direction with these. They look so cute. The characters are very much improved. I love the hinges. I think they work very, very well, and it's a great throwback to the vintage Polly's without straight up copying it. Although I'm still holding out that they're gonna bring back the vintage Polly's. I also love the additional outfits. I think they fit very well and they look great too. And the animal characters are so adorable. I love the hair. It's very nostalgic of the vintage ones. The animal pieces alone make these worth it to collect. That was honestly a breath of fresh air. We're already starting 2021 on the right foot. Or should I say on the right hinge? <laughs> Plus the designs are so freaking cute. I just love animal designs and I'm glad that they released more animal designs. Bravo Mattel, thank you for listening to us. I'm still hoping you'd reboot the vintage ones, but maybe you'll release a couple collector's editions for us nostalgic folks. Again, grab these on Amazon and Walmart before the scalpers get to them. And thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.